Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a work and career reading for Scorpio from the 17th to the 30th of June 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you would like a personal reading, please go to my website, jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I put the decks that I'm using in the description box, so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my videos on uh, um, simple energy healing remedies, as well as my deck walkthrough series. You'll find that interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with a general energy read, and then I will do the general tarot read after that. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you've got a barrier card over here that is showing that you're feeling very, very, um, oh, you're very frustrated. You're feeling very tied up as though you can't make a move. You're very, feeling very, very stuck in this situation. You might have been dealing with a lot of deception, so people appearing to be what they aren't, and maybe people lying or pretending to be, you know, flattering you, making you feel good, but in actual fact, uh, they were act, uh, not supportive, and maybe going behind your back and doing some things. And this has caused you to feel very frustrated, very upset, um, also very, very isolated as well. And very, very anxious. You've got the high anxiety card. So all the people that you've been communicating with, uh, you know, have caused you a lot of stress as well. You can see this woman's on the phone over there, but uh, being very, very stressed out about what is going on. So maybe whatever's going on in your work situation is stressing you quite a bit, causing a lot of anxiety. Now, in the past, you've got a lot of truth being revealed over here, and you might have been dealing with something legal. You've got the justice card over there. So some kind of official or legal decision has come in, and a lot of truth was revealed uh, at that particular, you know, due to this legal um, um, decision that was made or whatever it had been, whatever's been happening, the truth has been coming to light really. Now going into the future, you've got some challenge over there that you're going to be, be facing by yourself, uh, feeling very, very unsupported as well. So it's a very difficult uh, challenge uh, that you're facing at this particular moment. And th maybe this is why you're feeling so stuck. There's no support from the people around you. You're on that mountain alone dealing with all these clouds. Uh, so it's something that you're very, 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 um, it's very, very difficult. And now you've got a hope card over there. So it looks like there is going to be somebody that's going to give you some kind of advice and allow you to, to see the light, really. So some kind of information will come to light. Uh, and maybe somebody giving you that information as well uh, that will guide you into making uh, the decision or actually guide you into sorting out this challenge that you are facing right now. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So this is the zombie tarot, and I'm going to be doing the main read with it. I have shuffled this deck. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords is, uh, you know, dealing with very deceptive people, a lot of theft. There might be a theft of ideas. But you can see this woman's walking um, down the stairs and she's kicking everybody out of her way. So you could be dealing with somebody who is riding rough shot over everything. You know, somebody who is using all kinds of means um, to get to the top. So they are doing it regardless of everybody else's feelings or they're not taking anybody else's feelings into account and they're bulldozing their way uh, to get to the top. Uh, you can see this woman's even got a gun in her hand. So they're using all their means or they're, they're quite, um, you know, a person who, who stimulates conflict really and uh, uses, uh, you know, people's um, um, faults or not faults but people's weak points rather to get what they want you know almost tripping them as they're going up the stairs so it looks like you're dealing with somebody who is really uh, deceptive 
or somebody who's really, really nasty uh, in order, who is trying to get to the top and will use any means possible uh, to get their way, um, you know, and they're, they're doing it in a very, um, maybe they're being very upfront about how they're doing it, but, uh, you know, they, they don't have any care or concern for the way you're uh, feeling or there's somebody that will walk all over you, take advantage of you, uh, um, you know, exploit you, uh, and uh, you even steal your ideas. So just be careful. You're dealing with that kind of energy. It's a very, very nasty energy, really. Uh, you've got the six of hazards over there and the hierophant. So you have been working extremely hard. Maybe somebody has been, uh, you know, offered you a, a promotion or a new job or some kind of uh, means. So they're dangling something uh, that you really want badly. Uh, and you're having to work pretty hard to achieve that particular goal with the six of hazards. So maybe they even offered you that promotion where you're going to be getting more money. Um, and uh, maybe even this person that you're dealing with, with this uh, seven of swords energy, he's actually uh, also trying to go for the same position. And maybe this is the reason why they're you know, trying to make you look bad, really, in that particular uh, situation. So, um, you know, they're trying to um, uh, make people think that they're better than you really, and you are going after this particular goal, this particular um, promotion or whatever this uh, is that's being dangled in front of you, and working very, very hard with that six of hazards. Now, you ne do need to go and get some advice with this, uh, or you maybe you've been asking for some advice, maybe you've been doing a lot of uh, research, um, you know, even looking at your finances, but it looks like you've been, uh, you know, looking at a lot of information with regards to this post that you want. So you've been working uh, pretty hard, but also you've started to do some research to find out more about this particular job. There's a lot of, you know, this is almost like going on the internet or getting information that has been coming to you that will help you uh, get the advantage in that particular situation. Now, in the past, you've been dealing with the King of Wands, so this could be somebody uh, in authority, um, or this could be even you where you have been in a position of authority been very hands-on. The King of Wands is a very hands-on person who gets the job done, very dynamic. Uh, you know, even though this man's got an injury, he's still working. So it seems like no matter what has happened, you've put that aside and you're still going for it. You're still working very, very hard uh, at what you're doing. And you've been in a position of authority where you've been in control of a situation, uh, and uh, but very, very hands-on, very proactive in that particular situation. You've got the Two of Cups over, over there. So uh, this is about collaborating with a lot of different people. Uh, you know, you can see these people have got different things on their plates. <coughs> You've been doing a lot of mental work as well. So this has taken a lot out of you. But also, you know, dealing with a lot of different people, different ideas, um, you know, a lot of business meetings as well with this Two of Cups. And they've been quite successful as well. Now you've got the Two of Swords. There's some kind of decision that is pending over here or there's, you know, uh, that you're waiting for. So maybe about, uh, maybe there's that promotion that is coming in over there that's being offered to you. And maybe they are trying to choose between you and somebody else. So you've got that uh, Seven of Swords. There's somebody there. Uh, you know, you just have to be careful that they don't trip you up, really. But they, you are waiting for that decision. You really don't know what the outcome of it is going to be. And there's that choice that is going to be made. So some kind of decision being made. Uh, or you're waiting for that decision to be made. Uh, maybe whether or not they give you this promotion or whether or not you get this job that you're going for. Now, you've got the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of uh, options available for you. You might be even thinking or considering all the options available for you. This is also stressing you out quite a bit over here. Uh, but there's a lot of things on your mind. There's a lot of things that you have to do. You're making a lot of plans as well. Uh, you know, you haven't prioritized anything yet. Uh, but instead of making plans, you need to actually be proactive. Uh, you know, don't procrastinate. Make sure that you have an idea. So you need to narrow down your, all your options into one thing and have a clear plan about what you're doing uh, or want to do. So you've got a lot of things on your mind, but you haven't made a decision about what you want to do. Now, you've got the Knight of Cups coming in. This is your card over here. So, uh, you know, this could be, uh, you know, you taking control of that situation. There's a lot of mental work over there. Um, there could be that offer that even comes in for you. So, uh, you know, that is things starting to move on for you, you riding that wave, going with the flow of things as well, but doing a lot of mental work as well with it. So this is your cup with the Knight of Cups. So that's how you're coming across as somebody who can get things done. And, you know, you're, you're somebody that does a lot of thinking, very intellectual 
intellectual work that you're doing and uh, you know somebody who is very much in charge very much in control of that situation so you are handling it pretty well even though you know there's there's a lot of change uh, a lot of disruption around you uh, even that competition you're able to sort it out there you have something that people like and there's something that the way you come across um, you know you're very approachable and people do want to work with you and uh, you know you are very smart as well very intellectual as well and people appreciate that as well now like i said with the knight of cups this could be an offer that does come in for you uh something that you've been waiting for or maybe you're waiting for that offer to come in as well like i said there's that decision you are waiting for that decision and that offer it looks like you're going to be successful as well because you've got that four of wands and this is a victory card you can see there's a nice big cake over there and these people sitting and blowing uh uh, you know, party favors over there. So this is a celebration of sorts. So whatever this job is that you've been going for and you're working so hard for, and even though there's a lot of competition, it looks like you're going to be victorious in it and it looks like you may be getting this particular job. There might be victory in this because the Four of Wands is about victory and it looks like there is a celebration that goes on over there. Now, in your hopes and fears, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, so you want big change to come in for you, but maybe you're feeling a bit victimized as well, people throwing a lot of knives at you, so maybe you feel that there's not a lot of support where you're working for, but you want this big change to come in, maybe so that you can move on, you want to end this old cycle that you've been going through. So going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the Lover's Card, the Three of Cups and the Empress. So the Lover's Card is about making that big decision, going for whatever you want, but making sure that you are uh, doing your research. So, so it's if it's you that has that decision to make, make sure that you are uh, doing a lot of research before you actually make that decision. Now, uh, you've got the Three of Cups, so this is the card of celebration. So whatever has happened, uh, you know, whatever you're going through at the moment, whatever stress you have, it looks like, you know, what you want is going to come your way. This is a bride uh, and a groom, so there's that new contract being signed over here. So it looks like if you're get going for this new job, you're going to get it. If you're going for that promotion, you're going to get it, and new contracts are going to be signed with that Three of Cups. And it's a lot of celebration coming in. And you've got a lot of... Um, you know, abundance coming in as well with that Empress card, protecting what you have, what is yours as well with that Empress. But with the Empress ruled by Venus, it's a lot of money coming in. So you're going to be in a, in a position of, of a lot of authority with a lot of abundance coming in and a, very much a leadership position in charge of a lot of people. It's going to attract a lot of wealth and uh, allow a lot of comfort to come in so you'll be able to enjoy uh, or reap the rewards of that extra money that comes in as well. So although you're going through a lot of stress and you're having to deal with a lot of people and a lot of competition or maybe a competition from one particular person it looks like there's going to be victory because you've got that four of wands over there and you've got that three of cups with both of them celebration cards this is the the bride so this is about new contracts being um um, signed uh, make sure you're reading all the fine print uh, so it looks like you know people see something in you uh, that they want but make sure also you've got that seven of cups you you need to uh, prioritize and you need to narrow down your focus focus on one thing and work on that rather than having too many things in your mind and not getting much done at all so you do need to uh, you know get yourself organized as well so um this is the fairy tarot and the oracle read. You've got the renewal card. So review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future, understanding your life purpose and releasing judgments of yourself and others. So this is taking on a new path with the judgment card. So you're going to be taking on something else. You might even be taking on a role as a teacher and a mentor in this brand new job that you're going to be doing or this uh, brand new position. You've got the world card over here. So brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So you're ending an old cycle of work and you're going to be starting something new so it looks like whatever you're going for whatever you've been waiting for whatever you've been working towards with this world card the old is finishing off and something brand new new phase beginning for you and it's going to be very successful as well and the final card is the eight of summer so a desire for a more meaningful life uh, really realizing that it's time to move on and uh choosing to make major life changes so all these three uh, the, this is uh you know the judgment card is about making major life changes taking uh, on a different role role a different route as well the world card is ending old cycles and then the eight of summer is leaving the old behind and moving on so whatever this old cycle is whatever this old job is that you have been doing for a long time it's now coming to an end and you'll be moving in a completely different direction so like i said there might be some teaching as well or mentoring that is involved in this new post that you are going 
going to be starting. Whatever you're going to be doing is going to be very successful, but you will move away from the old and move on to something new as well. And because it's the Eight of Summer, it's the Eight of Cups, there is, you know, the Cups always talks about knowledge being given down to people. So this could be, you know, the role that you're going to be taking on is maybe mentoring or training up people as well. So whatever you've been going for, it looks like it is going to be successful. Uh, you know, you just stand your ground, uh, stand up for yourself and make sure that people realize that you have a lot of hidden talents and bring that out you know into the light make sure that people see that as well so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye